Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel and in this video I am going to explain you why a magnet attracts iron. Yes, we all know that magnet attracts iron, but what is the reason behind it? What's actually happening inside it? Let's learn it. And before going to the main topic, firstly we have to discuss about something like reluctance. What is reluctance? Reluctance is magnetic resistance. Yes, it's just analogous to that of electrical resistance. Just how electrical resistance opposes the flow of current through a electrical conductor, just like that, reluctance is a property of a magnetic material which opposes the magnetic flux to that material. Since this reluctance is a property of a magnetic material, it varies from one material to the other. The reluctance of air is more than the reluctance of iron. That is, it is easier to develop a flux in iron than that in the air. Now let's get back to the main topic. Say we consider a magnet and you can see that the magnetic lines of force have been established and it has two poles, north and south pole. That is the side from which the magnetic lines of force are coming out is assumed to be as north and the pole where the magnetic lines of force are entering is assumed to be as south pole. Now, and you can see that the magnetic lines of force are established in air. Now, if I take a iron piece, normal iron piece, which is not at all magnetized prior this experiment. Say if I place it near this magnet, what happens is, since the reluctance of this iron piece is less than that of the surrounding air, the magnetic lines of force starts diverting its path. That is, the magnetic lines of force are distorted such that they try to enter through the iron path instead of air. That is, in this way. So, all the magnetic lines of force tries to enter through the iron instead of the air. So what happens is, here you can observe that this magnetic lines of force now instead of going through the air, now passes through the iron piece like this. You can see that here the magnetic lines of force are entering and here it is leaving. Now this iron piece itself is a magnet, that is we can consider like this. Since the magnetic lines of force are entering this, this pole, this is considered to be a south and since the magnetic flux is leaving here, this is assumed as north pole. Now you can see that two magnets are placed besides each other. And we know the basic thing that whenever two magnets are placed in this way, they attract towards each other. The force of attraction exists between them. Now the same thing happens here, since the south and north pole are placed near each other, the magnet tries to attract the iron. If this, if this iron piece is placed nearer to the magnet, the force of attraction is more. And if this iron piece is placed farther away, then the force of attraction will be less. So this explains why any piece of soft iron placed near a magnet is always attracted to it. Hope you understood the topic and if you have any doubts you can comment down in the comment section and if you feel that this video is useful you can give a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Thank you for watching this video.